Okay, this uh, video is uh, once again for Bob from Michigan. This is regarding the landing gear um, assembly for the uh, CB100. I believe that's the one you're you're talking about. Uh, you mentioned that you had a little bit difficulty installing the strut into the strut supports and that you had to sand the edges of the uh, C-clips. In other words, I'm assuming uh, that you uh, sanded these areas here of the fiberglass parts. As I recommended in one of my posts, do not sand these areas here. And the reason being is because you need, this clip need, needs to be left intact so it'll grab onto the struts. If you sand too much, chances are that you're going to lose that grip on the struts and it's not going to retain as this particular assembly is retained. So I highly uh, recommend and, and please do not sand those parts. If, uh, if you need to squeeze this a little bit harder, it's probably due to the temperature in the room. If, it's, if you're working in a, in a cold room, plastic, the nature of plastic is, uh, is such that if it gets cold, the plastic is going to get harder. If it gets warmer, the plastic is going to get softer. So for those uh, that are watching also this video and are wondering, uh, I'm going to re recommend that you drop the parts if you feel that it's a little too hard. It shouldn't be too hard because these, thing, these parts are tubular and they squeeze quite easy you know with a little bit of uh, hand pressure um, I can understand if you uh, if you're a little bit older perhaps you know your hands like like mine sometimes I have a hard time squeezing you know to a certain point but this is very fairly simple but if you find it hard to uh, to squeeze those parts for some reason drop the parts in warm water do not use a uh, heat dryer or any other heating tools to uh, to soften the parts leave it there for about a minute and that should soften up the plastic where you can squeeze it a little bit easier and basically that's how this uh, should be done so once you squeeze the part it needs to be adjusted uh, horizontally you can still do that by squeezing the part gently and moving it uh, around the uh, c-clips which are built uh, part of the uh, g10 supports here i'm going to have a helper help me and i will show this a little more in detail how this assembly works Okay, so this is basically if you need to remove the struts from the uh, strut supports, the G10 strut supports, you just have to squeeze and pull. Squeeze and pull. It's very, very simple. You may find that uh, if, uh, like I was saying, if it's in a cold room or cold area, you may find that you have to squeeze a little bit harder. But basically, that's, that's how that works. And to reinsert it back on, I don't have these glued that's why they came out you just press with your needle nose pli pliers and insert back into the the C clips of the strut supports if you need to adjust this sideways you basically do the same thing let me remove these skids so they're easier to to work with squeeze and, and slide squeeze and slide that's how that works and once it's in place you may find that it's a little bit uh, dented from from the squeezing what you do is you need to come around here and squeeze vertically like that and that spreads the plastic a little bit better and forms a better grip inside the c-clip so that's how that's done but it's very easy to uh, uh, to install for uh, permanent installation if you want to do this you can add a little bit of CA glue to these points here do that once the skids are in place because the skids allow it to lock a little bit better and allow you to have uh, a better reference for gluing and once that's once that's in place it should level out as this particular one is is uh, is done I'm not using glue here but if you need to you can apply the glue like I said at these points here do it on the inside of that point uh, that area there and these areas right here on the inside and that's all you need once the glue sets do not apply a lot of glue so it doesn't create a, a big blob of glue you just need to apply just a little bit there let, let it sit and let it cure that probably will, will take a um, will take about a half hour or 15 minutes if you're using a medium viscosity CA glue the type of glue that I recommend and I I've said that in my videos and also in my uh, threads is the uh, the glue that we carry 
if you don't want to purchase it through my site that's fine just get the t same t try to get the same type of glue and uh, so that you have um, a better result of the uh, the gluing it's a it's a high quality CA glue and um, basically that's how that's done any questions you can email me or post it on uh, one of the RC group uh, threads and I will uh, address those through the uh, threads as well thank you